Results are in from Election Day 2023. The voters approved Proposition A. Ben Taub General Hospital and Lyndon B. Johnson have been operating over capacity and facing a significant population growth. This will help add more inpatient rooms at Ben Taub and build a new trauma hospital at LBJ. A lot of eyes, as we know, were on the mayoral race, uh, and we know this morning this contest is headed to a runoff. Sheila Jackson Lee and John Whitmire were not able to get the more than 50% of the vote needed to win the race. They will face off in a December 9th overtime round. Whitmire with the lead, getting 42.5% of the vote, while Jackson Lee pulled in at 35.7%. Senator John Whitmire had confirmed a live 830 interview with us right here on KPRC 2 Plus. Now, it was about an hour ago, Whitmire's camp t told us that they were going to have to cancel. They told our team there was a schedule conflict. Continuing our coverage on the mayoral election this morning, we have digital content producer Mariah Ballard in studio with us. Mariah, I know you had a very late night, so we appreciate you waking up early to uh, to be here of with course, us. Of course, my uh, favorite people. I know you uh, spent time at Sheila Jackson Lee's camp. Yeah. Um, walk us through what it was like uh, during uh, last night's hours. Yeah, so it was a very interesting event. Um, it was her event watch party. So when we arrived and supporters arrived, everybody was in good spirits. Everybody was very energetic pending the outcome. And then you kind of noticed around seven o'clock, everybody was looking at as their the polls phones. Were closing. As the polls closed, mm -hmm. everybody began looking at their phones. And the energy, while it still remained a little high, it kind of was dying down. Shifting. People, yeah, it was shifting a little bit um, because people started seeing those numbers and started seeing that very close gap and people started getting a little bit discouraged I felt but then we saw for the first time for my first time seeing her since her mental health leave I saw Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo she was in attendance getting the crowd pumped up for Sheila to enter Sheila entered the room and there was just a thunderous applause like you're seeing on your screen now everybody was excited she was joined by her family her grandchildren her child it was just a beautiful situation but you could tell that she was still looking at those numbers while they were being tabulated mm -hmm. and kind of, you know, checking in on her status in the race. Did she respond to the results, to last night's results, I don't while at the podium? Her. No, I don't recall her saying anything. I recall her being hopeful. She was giving shout outs to her supporters, the Houston firefighters, Houston Police Department, those people from, you know, those certain sectors of life. She was giving shout outs to them. Um, but she didn't really say anything about the votes. Judge Lena Hidalgo did say that, you know, these are not the final numbers. We don't have the final numbers yet. So there's still time for her to, you know, lead ahead. Yeah. Uh, did Sheila Jackson Lee comment about what the next 30 days will look like for her, for her campaign? So no, that was something I was very interested in. When I was there, at least, she didn't make a comment about that. But my question, I have a few questions for that as the runoff election is coming. Are they ramping up campaign efforts? What are they doing to to try to secure the rest of the votes for the city of Houston, yeah. for the residents. Yeah. yeah, you know, I think when you look at uh, her campaign, you look at John Whitmire's campaign, yeah. both had run and, and still continue to run on significant issues, concerns yes. that voters here in Houston have. My question yeah. for them, you know, during the 11th hour last night, watching these results come in, right. did they have an epiphany? Do, do, do they think that they have to, uh, you know, pivot some yeah. of these issues, change some of these issues? Yeah, um, I was so, thinking that as well. I'm wondering, like, do you go back to your camp and you wonder, like, guys, where was the misstep or could we have done more? Yeah. Could what we did have done well? less? What yeah, did what did well? well? What did the people yeah. not like? So so now we're going to see within this next month period of time, you know, how they try to pull it ahead, how they try to get the lead. And as we know, that runoff is scheduled for December, December 9th. 9th. So yep. uh, a lot to do in the next 30 days. We, of course, will be watching. And remember, we have uh, wonderful resources on our website. Click to Houston dot com. Yes, uh, those resources are up right now for you to use and to navigate. Yes, sir. Mariah, thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. Yes.